Hello, this is Trevor Lewis, and this is another video from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. In this video, we're going to do printmaking. These prints were made from laser engraved or CNC carved printmaking blocks. Uh, you can see that we have some prints where we have multiple prints of the same block um, on the same print. Uh, some of these prints are finished. You can see this one's got a signature and then a print number. Uh, it's the, the fourth print out of 50, I think, is what it says. Um, that makes it look more like a finished piece of artwork. Here's an example of a proof where they used way too much ink, and here's an example of a proof where they didn't get enough ink and evenly, or just not enough ink in general. Um, we have some more examples here of some prints where the inking was a little bit light, or the, the print block design was not super great either. Um, if you make things too fine, it won't come out. This is a, a easy cut print, which is like a easier to cut than linoleum. But most of these wood blocks are just uh, pie wood that we've engraved on the laser. To get the print, what I'm using is a, a piece of acrylic, and I'm just using some uh, speedball ink that I'm rolling on here with the brayer. Um, and I'm going to show you here that this is what happens when you have too much ink. You see the big ridges there? That's too much ink. So if you spread it out on the piece of acrylic and you get it evenly, and then you, um, after you've got it evenly, so you can go one direction on there instead of going back and forth. That way I get it even across the whole brayer. And let me show you that you get this sort of even texture like this. That's about the right amount of ink. Um, I have a wood block here that was carved with our shaper origin. Um, and we're going to ink it up. Um, and this is why you have newsprint down or, or a newspaper down to protect your tables because it's real easy to roll off while you're inking this up. You want to keep spreading out ink on the brayer and making sure that you get the ink evenly onto the block. Uh, you want to do different angles, uh, different parts of the brayer and make sure that you get the ink to be nice and even. Um, the wood I find to have want to have a little bit more ink on it than a easy cut or a linoleum print. It's just a little bit thirstier for the ink. It requires you to put a little bit more on to get it to come off. Um, what we're going to do for this print is we're just going to use a piece of computer paper and we're going to place it down on top of the block right in front of us. We're going to use our Baron. This is a Baron to burnish this. So we're going to press down. Um, it's real easy to uh, not get enough pressure. It depends on the kind of print that you're after here, how much ink you want to transfer, that kind of thing. So you can see I'm also smudging this up from my fingers on the back. It's hard to keep your prints clean when you get your fingers into it. Um, so you got to be a little bit careful. Um, and when I'm done pressing this down, I'm going to peel the print up. And that is how you get a hand print. And you can see the type, amount of ink that you do, the type of material, the type of paper, all of that is really important. Um, you can see also I had a couple of chunks in this ink because I was using the last bit of the ink, which left uh, some odd spots. And you can also see that I did not reverse my text the way I was supposed to. So now we're going to move over to the print. So I have a student-made plate, and I've inked it. And this is a printing press. It pushes down with um, a lot more force. You can adjust how much it's pressing down. I'm, I'm laying ivy felt down on top, which sort of has this squishing effect. I have some ivy felt underneath the block too. If I have the, the pressure set pretty high here, you can actually hear the wood crunch and you'll uh, actually end up warping your plates. But it does create a nice even amount of pressure so you can get a nice result in your print.